What's up guys, Gorilla Chemist here, CEO of Chemex Lifestyle, here today to talk to you about our pre-workout. And as you can see, I got a lot of stuff going on. So this is gonna be a nice in-depth video on kind of what went through my head when I formulated it, what things I wanted to get into this product for you guys in order to get the best workout possible. So I focused on a couple of different areas. Endurance, right? So people want to train longer and train harder in the gym. So one of my favorite ingredients is Pico2. It's a six mushroom blend that has these different cordyceps that it can increase your VO2 max, increase time to exhaustion in the gym, and increase your total power output. Now this ingredient rivals beta alanine, which I don't personally like. I think this one works a lot better. And there's a lot of good data for Pico2 showing that it increases your power output by almost 18% and 60 fold increase in time to exhaustion, which is pretty good. This ingredient you can feel even after your first workout. So I wanted to add this in there first in order so that you could train longer and harder. And the mushroom blend I really personally like. Next, we added Glycer Size, which is a 60% glycerol powder. I'm sorry, 65% glycerol powder. And what glycerol is this molecule here and what's known as an osmolite, right? So an osmolite is a molecule that draws in water molecules into your cells. So if you look at these in blue are the water molecules, they form these things called hydrogen bonds with the hydroxyl groups on glycerol. So they can bond multiple water molecules to each of these hydroxyl groups on the glycerol molecule. So it brings a ton of water into your cells, which can induce something called hyperhydration. Hyperhydration is very important because as little as 2% dehydration can decrease your performance by almost 20%. So it's important to be hydrated. It also causes tremendous cell swelling. So this you're gonna get a crazy pump from just by bringing all this massive water into your cells, right? I wanted you to be really focused in the gym, right? And so when I was looking at things, ingredients that cause focus, I wanted to make sure that I had some good synergy going. I picked lion's mane, which is one of my favorite mushrooms and adaptogens. And I did a 600 milligram dose of that because it increases your mood overall, right? There's a molecule in here called arenosine and that can increase your mood because it binds to your kappa opioid receptor, which releases dopamine. It incre there's studies that show it increases cognition, it increases nerve growth factor, which means that it grows new nerve cells inside your brain, and it decreases this plaque called beta amyloid, right? So this beta amyloid decreases the transmission of information between your brain and the hemispheres in your brain. So if we are decreasing the levels of this plaque, we are now being able to process information more quickly. And studies have shown this using lion's mane. So that's one of my favorite focus um, molecules that I like to use. But the real kicker and game changer, in my opinion, was Kana. You guys have heard me talk about Kana tons of times. I love this ingredient. Kana is a naturally occurring serotonin reuptake inhibitor. In fact, it's a plant that hits over 77 different receptors in your body, they're still finding out new things about Kana. It's best known as a mood enhancer. In South Africa, where they chew this, plant leaves, it uh, increases the levels of serotonin and your mood by not only just flooding your brain with serotonin, but then blocking the reuptake of it. So now you have plenty of serotonin inside your brain, so your mood is going to be amazing. It's also a phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor, which is something that regulates mood and wakefulness. So this is something that will also keep you awake. It's not something that has any sedation effect. It's also euphoric, right? So it releases dopamine, which is the reward system in your brain. A lot of molecules that release dopamine are euphoric. Two of the main alkaloids in Kana, and there's a bunch of them, are mesembrone and mesembrine, right? They're drawn right here. They're very, very similar. The only difference is this double bond right here between the two. There's a couple of more alkaloids that are very similar in structure, but these, if they think, are the ones that are responsible for the natural SRI and mood enhancement. So we used a thousand milligrams of Kana, which previously has been unheard of in any other product. Most 
products use a very small amount, 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams, and there's studies to show that that's okay. But when I was making this and experimenting with these doses, as soon as I hit this thousand milligram mark, which is what the people in South Africa chew, chew it around a thousand milligrams, 1500 milligrams, is when things really started happening. And what else Kana does is what I'm gonna get into with the next part here is it increases almost the feeling of all the other stimulants inside, right? So I made this energy amalgam, right? So everything needs stimulants. Everyone wants to be hyped up at the gym, right? So I decided to use caffeine and hydras and caffeine citrate. I really like caffeine citrate. In my opinion, it hits much more quickly. So there's a dose. The total dose of caffeine is 350 milligrams split up between the two. DMAE is also one of my favorite focus agents. It converts in the body into choline, which then converts into acetylcholine, which is your excitatory neurotransmitter. So that way you increase focus and communication inside your brain. I like rhodiola rosea extract. This is another one of my favorite adaptogens for tons of things, mostly for preventing mental fatigue inside the gym. Huperzine A blocks the breakdown of acetylcholine. It's an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, right? So by adding this in here, we're increasing the levels of acetylcholine even more. And then we get into the cool stims that everybody loves. These are all derived with your phenylethylamine backbone, as you can see the structures here. So hygienamine is really unique. It's one of my favorite stimulants. It has, if you look closely, it's a fused ring, but you can see the outline here of the phenyl ethylamine structure buried inside here. So this, if this part of the molecule is missing, this is the amino acid tyrosine right here. And then this molecule here, if this part was missing, is dopamine. So th this amalgam of dopamine and tyrosine is really cool and structurally, it hits your beta-2 receptors very well and it has a very quick onset, seven minutes. You feel it right away in the gym. And then NN dimethylphenylethylamine, is this structure right here and N isopropyl norsinephrine is right here. Very similar in structure. They have the phenylethylamine backbone. The two methyl groups here allow it to last longer and be more active inside the body because you have an enzyme called monoamine oxidase and that will break down this molecule and render it useless, right? That's why PEA alone doesn't really do much. So the addition of these two methyl groups here prevent that from happening as well as this isopropyl group here on the norsinephrine molecule, allow this to last much longer in the body. And both of these stimulants, in my opinion, are very strong, including this isopropyl norsinephrine. The last kicker I wanted to add for a very specific reason is a low dose, extremely low dose, of alpha yogin bean. One of my favorite stimulants, makes you sweat a lot, so you definitely feel it, but it's also a monoamine oxidized inhibitor, right? So we're making all of these stimulants last longer inside your body, as well as preventing the breakdown of serotonin and dopamine and norepinephrine, all these things inside your body. So this pre-workout lasts a very long time, but the best part is there's no crash. When you take this, because in theory, in my idea, because of the Kana, and all of the lion's mane and the different mushrooms there, as stimmed up as you get during your workout, you don't crash. I think the Kana smooths out the transition between when everything is, is starting to fade away. So this pre-workout is not gonna keep you up for eight hours, but it is strong. And I truly think it's one of the most unique products on the market. I love it. I wanted to get something out there that was not quite like anything else. I thought Kana was a big game changer and I wanted to use ingredients that you guys are familiar with and some that you're not. So I hope you guys give this a try. We always recommend trying half a scoop first and not a full scoop because it is very strong to assess your tolerance. So for more information on this, you can visit chemicslifestyle.com and there's a write-up on there.